Welcome to Reads Biology. Today we will start Chapter 3 Plant Kingdom. So let's start. We'll start from classification system. It is the arrangement of plants into groups and subgroups on the basis of similarities. The characters used as basis of classification are the criteria of classification. There are three types of classification system. Artificial classification system, natural classification system, and phylogenetic classification system. Starting from artificial classification system. It is mainly based on morphological characters and non-evolutionary features. The plants are classified according to their number of and situation of stamens. It do not express true natural relation between species. This system of classification was given by Carolus Linnaeus, the father of taxonomy. Next we will talk about natural classification system. According to relationship based on descent common ancestor. The organism classified is on the basis of their vegetative characters and these characters are permanent, do not change over the environment. Next we will talk about phylogenetic classification system. It is based on evolutionary ancestry or evolution of life. It shows genetic relationships among organisms which are classified. It generates a tree or phylogenetic tree or cladogram which is groups of organisms that include an ancestor species and its descendants. It is more important when there is no fossil evidence. Now we will talk about numerical taxonomy. It creates a taxonomy using numerical algorithms. The cluster analysis rather than using subjective evolution of their properties. It is easily carried out using computers and based on all observable characteristics. Numbers and codes are assigned to all the characters. Then the data are processed. In this way, each character is given an equal importance. At the same time, hundreds of characters can be considered. Then we will talk about cytotaxonomy. It is a study of the relationships and classification of organisms using both classical systematic techniques and comparative studies of chromosomes. Chromosome is a thread-like structure located inside the nucleus of a cell passing from one generation to next, contains DNA and genes. So cytotaxonomy is based on chromosome number, structure and behavior. Lastly, we will talk about chemotaxonomy, also known as chemosystematics. It attempt to classify and identify organisms, mainly plants, according to confirmable differences and similarities in their biochemical compositions. It uses chemical constituents of plants to resolve confusions. It is used by taxonomists frequently these days. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Like and share with everyone and don't forget to subscribe. Next day we will discuss about algae. Till then, take care and bye.